this is for the fire extinguisher. It's all on, on the street. And you know, it's for the fire hydrant, you know. But the design here is a very traditional Japanese firefighter. And this is Hiroshima. This is also a very symbolic one. Because we know that uh, Hiroshima is the place that you know, the atomic bomb was dropped. And this is the Orizu. So I think this is very you know, uh, meaningful, kind of a symbol one for, for Hiroshima. This is also a well, very interesting one. This is Kusatsu. You know, you know that uh, what do you call you you mow me, yeah, you mow me. You know, this is well, when people see this manhole, they can say, that, oh, we can kind of find up this activity in this, you know, in kusatsu. When I visited uh, many places, or even when I well, uh, I'm in in Tokyo. I could uh, notice that you know the manhole cover it about well, the difference, and and I start uh, feel interested why this is different from you know the one in front of the embassy. <laughs> For example, if you don't have any idea about the city, and you went there and you found this, you know, on the street, and if like it's uh, some places or the festival, then you can, can well, learn or research more or you can ask the people there well, why you have this design of manhole. So I think that this is a very interesting thing to, you know, to PR the place because if you make it like a very simple one, it's just a manhole <laughs> cover. And actually, um, even in Thailand now, they we, we, I think we start to, to do, do the same thing. Really? Yeah, I could find some uh, manhole cover in, in the tourist spot in Bangkok that they put some uh, very interesting design. This is just like a line, but it's a Thai language, mm -hmm. and we can read it as Sabati, which is like a good morning, good afternoon, or konnichiwa in, in Japanese. Well, we, we do this, I mean, in Bangkok, you know, at least this one, at least they, they can tell the tourists that, okay, we welcome you, sawati, welcome, konnichiwa, something like that.